When the folks from TCI and the River Authority talk about this stuff, it's almost mundane, easy to them. But when you're down here and you have an opportunity to see how low the river actually is down, you start to realize that the draining, the cleaning, the repairing, and then the refilling is a huge undertaking. For the next four days, that's the sound you'll hear along the San Antonio River Walk. Or then again, the river isn't all hotels, restaurants, and foot traffic. And the farther north you go, the calmer it becomes. The San Antonio River in this section of San Antonio, it's not really a river, it's actually a, a linear lake. And that lake collects a lot of things, including the natural sediment that makes its way downstream. You can probably imagine what that's like after four years. But really, it's nothing compared to what it used to be. In the 80s is when we started doing this maintenance type of work. Since that time to now, because of the improvements, we have been able to reduce the amount of sediment that actually goes to the downtown area so we don't have to drain it every year. While the main channel is only knee high right now, the horseshoe of the river walk is good to go. This is the main river. And then when you get into the downtown area, there's a historic loop. We have two isolation gates that keep water in that river loop area going out to river center and so forth that area continues to have water and the barges are still running there it's a dirty job but a necessary one that keeps one of texas's true treasures safe secure and developed for years to come it's a great effort it's uh it's a good time to be able to to do some inspections of the walls uh to look at the historic area and to see if there's any kind of improvements needed tci has 110 people working on this project alone they have until Thursday to get it done. Just four days, that's their deadline. And it will also take 24 hours to get the river completely refilled. We'll have more on the progress of this project coming up a little bit later on today. Reporting from the Riverwalk in downtown San Antonio, Brian Bose, Spectrum News.